Notation and mass notation. Yeah, all right, let's get to it. Okay, so the atomic number is the number of protons, and in all neutral atoms, the number of protons and the number of electrons are the same. So that means if we have an atomic number of 11, then we also have 11 protons and 11 electrons. Same thing down here, if we have 13 electrons, then we know we've got 13 protons and an atomic number of 13. All right, moving on. Okay, so if we want to know the number of neutrons, well, the number of protons plus the number of neutrons equals the mass number. But wait, we don't know the mass number. Or do we? Hey, over here in the mass notation, it says sodium-23. That is the mass number. So if we take 23 minus 11, we get 12. Yes, 12. And since the mass notation says the mass number right there, let's just go ahead and fill it in. 23. All right. Let's take a look down here on this row. Well, we don't know the mass number, but we already know the number of neutrons. So we just add protons plus neutrons to get a mass number. Yes. All right. Now, for the isotopic notation, it, it is composed of three components. We have the symbol, and then in the top left corner, we have the mass number. Right, 23. And then in the bottom left corner, we put, what is that? Yes, that's right, the atomic number, which is 11. And the first row is now complete. All right, now on to the second one for aluminum. So, same thing as before. The top left corner is, that's right, the mass number. So in this case, 27. And the atomic number is 13. Yes, 13. So we have now successfully put in the isotopic notation. Last but not least, the mass notation. And as you can see by right here, it is the name dash the mass. So we will write out aluminum dash 27. Yes, 27. Yes, thank you, thank you. All right. Now, before we wrap up today, it is time for the bonus round. Yes, the bonus round. All right, where you will have to draw a Bohr model. <gasps> Yes, that's right, a Bohr model. And which one will you have to draw? Well, let's see, let's try this one right here. Hmm, think about it. Let's think about it. Okay, so this is the mass number over the atomic number. Well, the atomic number is the number of protons. All right, so we have 15 protons. Now we also need to know our number of neutrons. And can we find that from here? Well, yes, we can, because it's the mass number minus the atomic number. The difference, 31 minus 15 is 16. So we now have our nucleus. Now it is time to draw the energy levels. All right, here is the first energy level. How many electrons are we going to have? Well, let's see if we can figure out the total number of electrons, which is the same as the number of protons. So 15 protons. 15 electrons. How many can go on the first level? That's right, only two. Two electrons in the first level. Now, for the second level, how many can we have? That's right, we can have eight electrons. Now that adds up to 10 electrons right there. Is that all we have? No, we know we have 15. So we need, yes, a third level. And then the third level, we have whatever is left over. In this case, five electrons. 
Thank you, thank you so much for watching. If you have any further questions, please comment below, and hopefully next time, you will be a winner on Chemistry Talk with Not Dan. Check you later. Waiting on a train, that's not the same. Waiting on a train, I'm not the one to.